Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So excuse the no makeup face. I might look extra sleepy and tired in today's video because I actually just woke up about 20 minutes ago. I took a shower, I got dressed, and I was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna film this month's Accutane update again without any makeup on because a lot of you guys really appreciated that you could see it up close and personal throughout the entire video. So this is month five out of six. I cannot believe that I only have one month left on Accutane. It feels like I really just started the medicine maybe one or two months ago and it's crazy to think that I've already been on it for almost half a year. So that's what we're going to be talking about today and you guys know the way that I always like to talk about or outline these videos is first talk about my skin, give you guys a little bit of an update, show you guys a close up even closer than this and then I want to talk about the side effects and basically all the not so fun stuff that I've had to put up with throughout the month so let's jump into the skin update this is what my skin looks like right now and I will show you guys that close-up right now as well and it's so amazing you guys as I mentioned in my last skin update I have not seen a breakout or a pimple pop up or show up on my face since month two on Accutane it's the craziest thing ever I've gotten so so used to it now I feel like I don't even remember what it's like to wake up and see a pimple on my face I don't know if it's such a good thing that I've gotten so used to that because I've kind of even been testing my skin a little bit. Back in the day before I got on Accutane, I would not even in my wildest dreams think about going to sleep without washing my face. I have done that three times in the past month. I guess just because I've been a little bit spoiled with my skin being so durable. I go to sleep with a full face of makeup on and I wake up in the morning, I wash my face and still not even one pimple. It's the craziest thing ever. My skin, like I said, is just so, so durable. I wish that it would stay like that. I know that once I get off the Accutane, I'm expecting to see a lot of changes in my skin. I don't know what it is in this medication that basically just prevents your skin from forming new pimples. Um, it would be absolutely amazing, like I said, if my skin could stay like that forever. But, you know, I'm being realistic about it. I know that that's not going to be the case. But, uh, yeah, I did want to let you guys know that I have been kind of testing the waters a little bit. I have been going to sleep here and there with my makeup on my face you know those nights that I get a little bit lazy after coming in from a late night and anytime that I've done that I still wake up with my skin looking absolutely beautiful in the morning so with that being said my skin is still not absolutely perfect um, but it's perfect to me like I told my doctor if my skin stayed like this for the rest of my life I would be so so happy um, there is that little bit of redness my doctor did explain a lot to me the last time that I went to go see him and he told me that over time if you break out a lot in certain areas and for me it's always been on my cheeks that I break out the most he actually said that the collagen starts to break down and it does not form so that kind of makes the skin just not as even it kind of dips in in certain areas and that redness again he said that it's kind of a 50 50 chance that after I get off of Accutane maybe my skin tone will be more even but it's definitely not a guarantee nonetheless every single month my skin does get a lot better um, a lot of that redness has been reduced and as well as the acne marks they seem to fade more and more every single month and another thing that I love that I'm seeing a lot of in the past two months is the reduction in the size of my pores I don't really have big pores all over my face, but I definitely did like around my nose and on my nose I had so many I wish that this was something that I kind of documented before starting Accutane I don't have any pictures up close of what my nose used to look like but I had well my nose looks the same but I had a lot of um, clogged pores and blackheads on my nose and believe it or not there is not any of that on my nose anymore of course you still have your pores and you see them but they're not clogged and I don't have those little um, dark spots all over my nose like I used to so right now I am absolutely loving the state that my skin is in my skin on my face throughout this entire journey for some crazy reason has not been dry still every single night I go to sleep with jojoba oil slathered all over my face I will um, link down below my updated skincare routine while on Accutane and I will be switching it up after Accutane so I am gonna have a post Accutane video um, again letting you guys know of the results and then what I've been putting on my face every single night and my skincare routine for after I'm done with the medication but like I was saying for some reason the skin on my face is not dry at all I don't know if that's because of the oil that I put in or if it's just very different than the skin on the rest of my body because the skin on my body is still very dry scaly extremely itchy thank God that my face is not like that but um, that's pretty much it for the skin update 
Again, you guys can see it looks super, super clear to me. Again, it's not perfect, but it's perfect to me. I had very realistic expectations and I am just shocked that my skin is so freaking clear, you guys. I actually was watching um, the first video that I came up with on this video letting you guys know about the Accutane journey, the one where I was crying and um, it was the actual day that I went to the doctor and I thought I was going to have to beg him to go on Accutane and when he told me right there, I remember him walking in and he's like, perfect Accutane candidate. And um, just watching that video and seeing what my skin looked like, it's like I really forgot how bad it was and it was kind of shocking to go back and really see that every inch of my face was covered in horrible acne and scars and whiteheads and blackheads and just to look back at that and then look in the mirror now and it's just something that I will absolutely never take for granted. I know so much what it feels like to look in the mirror every single morning and just feel like I want to cover my face with my makeup as soon as possible because even on days where I was at home filming and didn't really see anyone, um, you know, I still wanted to be covered in makeup because I didn't even want to look in the mirror at myself uh, without makeup on because I really did gross myself out and I know that to some people it could sound so vain but it's your face and it's your first impression that you make on people and people are very rude to me they would stare a lot um, online of course people hide behind a screen and I would get some really really mean comments that really got to me and the journey that I've been on with this medication is just so amazing. The difference in my skin is shocking and I really didn't even remember how bad my skin was. Um, and I got a little bit emotional watching that video again because just the transformation is crazy and a lot of you guys noticed that it's not only a transformation in my skin but my personality and my confidence and a lot of you guys say that you see my happiness and the way that I smile more and um, it's just an amazing thing. I, I am so happy that I made the decision to go on this medication and definitely a game changer, a life changer for me. Alright, let's talk about these side effects. So. First thing off the bat that I want to talk about is lips because you guys know that I bitch and I moan and I complain about the lips on every single update that they they hurt so bad, they burn, they itch, they crack, they bleed. <laughs> Basically horrible, horrible side effects with the lips. Finally, and this is crazy that I found this the last two months of my treatment. So if you guys are planning on going on Accutane or if you're in the beginning of your journey or even towards the end, I'm telling you guys. You need to try this stuff. This is the Cordobomb by Dr. Dan's. Basically, it looks like a very simple, I have oil all over my hands because I slathered myself so it's a little bit hard to open. This is what it is. It's just a simple, basic lip balm. But the reason that this one is so special is because it's formulated with hydrocortisone. It has 1% and it actually says right on the label that it's an anti-inflammatory anti lip balm. Um, again, with a 1% hydrocortisone. It says the indications are for itching and inflammation due to dry skin, sunburn, or cosmetics. Now, I don't know exactly how safe it is to use um, hydrocortisone on your lips every single day for an extended period of time so I do plan to only use this for the rest of the time that I'm on Accutane which is about one more month and then after that I'm not going to use this anymore um, but I'm telling you guys this I found out about this number one through comments from you guys down below and then I also checked the message boards on acne.org they actually have a really good message board for people on Accutane I'll link that down below as well because it's helped me a lot I found so much information from that message board um, anyway a lot of people were recommending this quarter bomb and I don't know what it feels just like a regular chapstick but that hydrocortisone in it makes a huge difference I'm not gonna say that my lips are like plump and juicy and hydrated and smooth the way that they used to be before I was on Accutane but it definitely cut down um, the burning the peeling the itching and a little bit of the flaking by I would say 50% so it's definitely still something that's a little bit annoying but and I didn't tell you guys this is like $5, by the way. Um, much better than anything that I picked up at Sephora. Anything else, five bucks can't beat it. And I have been using it in conjunction with um, the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub from Lush. This is not something that I think that you have to go out and buy. It's basically just a sugar lip scrub. Um, I believe there, there is, uh, what is it? Yeah, there's also jojoba oil in here. So I feel like you can make this at home. A little bit of jojoba oil, a little bit of brown sugar. Use that to scrub your lips. But to be honest with you, 
you guys, I find that a clean washcloth or a toothbrush is a little bit more abrasive than any of these sugar scrubs. So that in conjunction with the Corda Balm, my lips are doing a lot better. Another symptom that's actually pretty bad in the past month that you guys probably already noticed, it's more on the cosmetic side, um, but it's actually the really dark under eye circles. I have these intense under eye circles and it's more bad like right when I first wake up. Right now I told you I've been up for like 20 minutes already so they have gone down. But I get these really really dark patches underneath my eyes and again it is a symptom. I did talk to my doctor about it. I don't know if it's because I'm dehydrated or because the medication does dehydrate you or what it is but dark eye circles is a common side effect of the medication. Um, I am thinking of trying like a really good under eye cream for acne after I'm off Accutane, um, I think it's called Hydroquinone is the prescription that you can get from your dermatologist and like a 4% strength that's supposed to help lighten underneath the eyes because some of the side effects sadly from Accutane are long term even when you're off of the medication. So I don't know if this is something that I'm going to be battling for a long time to come or if it's going to lighten up a lot. So I'm going to kind of keep an eye on that and if I feel like they are staying so dark I'm going to talk to my dermatologist about lightening them up with a prescription. I also wanted to quickly address because I've been getting a lot of questions lately from you guys on the hair and nails and if the medicine affected um, my hair thickness and my nail strength and length. Um, as far as the nails, absolutely not. I feel like my nails are still very strong, long, healthy. They have not chipped easier or broken a lot easier. I know a lot of people do say that their nails on this medication get very brittle and that they break and it's impossible to grow them out. For some reason for me, I don't know if it's because of the OPI Nail Envy that I use, um, but I have not had any problems at all with my nails breaking. I have not actually broke even one nail since starting the treatment five months ago. And same thing for the hair. My hair has not thinned out. I have not seen a lot of hair loss. I feel, or any hair loss I should say, I feel like you see all these crazy stories online and um, a lot of it scared me in the beginning. Like I was like, oh my god, I don't want my hair to thin out and have a bald spot or like a receding hairline or any of that. Honestly, you guys, no. I haven't dealt with any of that. My nails are still long and strong and healthy and same exact thing with my hair. Also, another really funny question that I wanted to address because this was a question that somebody asked. I don't remember if it's on the four month update or the three month update, but um, it got something like a hundred and something thumbs up on the question. So I was like, all right, you know what? Let me take the time to answer this. Um, I had explained in that video how the medication dries up all the lubrication between your joints and basically all the oil and uh, I don't know how to explain it, but the, the lubrication in between your joints, okay? Um, and somebody asked that they had a fear that getting on this medication that you would not be able to produce your own natural lubrication. This is such an awkward topic. Um, how do I say this? Maybe like when you're having sex, um, that you it won't be as comfortable because your natural ability to lubricate. <laughs> how do I explain this? Oh my God. Basically, no, it has not affected my sex life at all. Everything's working the same exact way that it used to pre-Accutane. And I hope that answers all you guys' questions because a lot of you guys thumbs that up. And that's pretty much everything that I've been dealing with this month. I do plan on having a Q&A video coming out. I'm going to say sometime after the last update, which will be next month. I do have a lot of questions that you guys have been sending in. I do want to quickly read to you some of the ones that I jotted down. And then I want to ask you guys if there's any specific questions that you have for that video. Let me know. I'm just going to title it Accutane Q&A. These are some of the things that you guys wanted me to cover. Um, you guys want to know what type of birth control that I'm on while I'm on Accutane. What's the name brand and the milligrams of the actual Accutane that I'm taking because I believe it's not called Accutane. When I bring it over to my pharmacy, um, it's not just a prescription that says Accutane. I believe that there's three or four different types here in the United States. Um, you guys want to know the price of the visits to the doctor for the up or not the updates but the examination and the blood work that I get done and the price of every monthly prescription. You want to know if my insurance helps to cover anything, the long term side effects that last after you finish the Accutane. Um, can anyone go on Accutane? Have you been waxing on Accutane? Does your acne get worse before it gets better? 
Have you been drinking on Accutane because that's something that you're really not supposed to do too much? How do I take the Accutane? Are there any types of foods that I use since you're supposed to take it with a really big meal? Um, do I take any other vitamins and supplements with the Accutane? And I think I wrote this down twice, the brand name that I take. Yeah, that was one that I wrote down twice. So if there's any specific questions that you guys have, let me know. And again, that will be a separate Q&A video just about Accutane. Other than that, uh, my doctor did tell me that he might recommend that he wants to see how my skin looks after the very last month and um, he feels that I might benefit from a Fraxel laser slash micro peel laser it's two different lasers and they do them both at the same time the downtime and recovery is about seven days um, and it is fifteen hundred dollars for the entire session. He said that would further help to um, get rid of any of the red marks left behind as well as the overall redness or pink tinge that my face has to it now and also help um, to boost up the collagen levels where I see those little dips and uneven skin tone. So that's something that I'm kind of considering. I believe that I would have to wait six months after I'm off the Accutane so it would not be something anytime soon. If I do decide to do that, I will absolutely document the entire thing for you guys. I did wanna ask you if any of you guys have had that done I did have Fraxel laser way way back in the day while I still had really bad acne and back then I did not find it worth it because that laser is supposed to treat the scars but since I still had a lot of acne popping up I wasn't even really able to see if the older scars disappeared because of the laser because I had a lot of more acne basically popping up so it was definitely a waste back then um but you know it's kind of like the finishing touch my doctor kind of explained it like if you're someone that lost 100 pounds and then um you know you might do like a little bit of liposuction or cutting off of extra skin it's kind of like the icing on the top of the cake after you've been through such a big change if that makes any type of sense i hope that it makes sense to you guys so again that's something that i am considering getting done um probably half a year after i'm done and off the Accutane and we will see exactly what my skin is like when I'm done with the Accutane. I'm hoping that it stays like this. I'm hoping that it stays really durable and I don't break out that easy anymore. Um, but again, it's something that I'm going to have to monitor and just cross my fingers and hope and pray that my results stay for a very long time to come. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next month for my very last Accutane update. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.